All right, today we're gonna to talk a little bit about moments and how to actually calculate those. We're gonna to need to know moments because that is what sets us up with reaction forces. We are trying to calculate the moments here are the reaction forces. So we need to kind of remember back to a previous class. This over here, this is a pin joint. And this one is a roller. All right? And here's what it means. What it means is we have, we have an upward force here and we have a force this way. We also, on a roller, it has one reaction force, all right? So we can say one reaction force, and then a pin is gonna have two reaction forces, all right? So here's how we would label this. I would say this is gonna be RAY, and this one over here would be RAX, because it's going in that, that horizontal direction. Over here on the C, because it's a roller, we only have that one. So I would actually label this RCY, because it's going in the vertical direction. Now, if we think here, if we only have one force happening here, and it's right here. It's right there. If we think here on X, we have no X forces at all. There's no X. So we could go ahead and we know that the sum of all of our X forces is going to actually equal zero. So here's a couple of formulas we need to deal with. We know to be in static equilibrium, the sum of all forces in the X direction has to equal zero. The sum of all forces in the Y direction has to equal zero as well. So if we take a look here, our X, we've already established. There's no opposing force, right? We do. We have, we have a, a, a reaction force there because it's a pin, but there's nothing coming this direction. So it's going to be zero. Let me go ahead and get a clean copy of this again. Let me transpose a couple of things. We're going to have a, for, a force there and there. Remember, this is RAX, and this is RAY. And then over here, we have a roller. This will just be RCY. We've already established, though, for the X's, we just have zero. Okay? So a sum of all forces in the Y direction has to equal zero. So we got to deal with that. We have a few things here. We've got a moment B, right? And we've got RCY that we have to deal with because we're trying to figure out reaction forces. So let's do this. We say that moment B plus RCY is going to equal zero. So those are the moments that are happening. Our distance, we know, we know for a moment, it equals force times distance. All right, so here's how we got to write this thing. Moment B, I just like to put distance first, so I'll say eight times negative 500. I know it's negative because again, that arrow is pointing down, right? And on the Y axis, remember that whole sense thing? That means it's negative. So we've got a negative 500. So that is moment B. So plus our CY, that is gonna be the total. So we're gonna say eight plus 11. So we get 19. And we don't know the value of RCY, so we'll put it in here, equals zero. So I'm going to say this is what, negative 4,000 plus 19, RCY equals zero. So I'll add the 4,000 to both sides. So I end up with 19 RCY equals 4,000. Right, so then from here, it's really, you know, it's a basic calculation, right? We are going to take 4,000 and we're going to plug it in our calculator and basically we're just going to divide it by 19. So we'll say 4,000 divided by 19 and our CY is 210.526. All right, now we know though, right here it says, it says the sum of all forces in the y direction has to equal zero. 
So what we're saying is, we've got 500 pushing us down, and so far we've only got 210.526 pushing us up. So what we're gonna have to do, we've gotta figure out what RAY is gonna be. And it's actually a pretty easy thing now. So we'll just say 500, because that's our total, right? Minus 210.526. And then we'll go ahead and just plug that in the old calculator there. So we'll say 500 minus 210, and we end up getting 289.474. So RAY is 289.474. That is the basic gist of moments. 